this is an interesting one. I'm on this really steep hill and I'm inside a garage so I can only see the guy like a, you know, a little sliver of, of the guy running the chute. Whenever you're pouring on a hill, it's really tough. Because the, the more you come forward, you gotta lift up the chute or lower it. It's, especially when you're sideways. Cause he got, we got three chutes on right now and when it's full of mud, it's heavy. So you see the, the guy running the chute back there, he's putting his whole body weight against the, those chutes. Just trying to keep it from flying away from him. So man, when you're, when you're on a hill like this, it's tough. Got a lot to worry about. Man, whew. He says up, start, stop, go forward, lock, unlock. It's really quick back there. These guys are really good though. They know what they're doing. So I know you guys been uh, wondering what's going on. I took about a, uh, like a seven, seven month hiatus. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos earlier that I moved over, uh, I moved across the state last year and my family of six was living in a fifth wheel trailer. <laughs> we were in a, a pretty populated area and uh, you know, when everything popped off last year, uh, my wife and I decided, you know, we gotta get out of here. So we bought a fifth wheel and moved across the state. So uh, we went from a city population you know, 600,000 maybe in the, the little area we were in, at least, to a city with 6,000 population. It's got uh, two, two or three street lights in the city I live in now. <laughs> and it's much better. Anyway, we lived in a fifth wheel and uh, we finally bought a house a few months ago so uh, we lived in the fifth wheel for about a year so I took a break to uh, you know house hunting and moving and got this giant remodel that we're doing but anyway I'm back so we don't have any don't have any more no more footage of snow and ice and stuff like that although we don't have any footage of you know sweating every day in a 110 113 degree temperatures either so today's september 1st i don't know when i'm gonna get this video uploaded but fall is coming well that was a pretty easy uh pretty easy job in and out i mean it was uh you know the hill it's kind of challenging but I didn't have to move around a lot, and that's always nice. But uh, we do have, oh man, probably about three yards left over. So I washed out the truck, you know, just the outside, the chute and stuff. And uh, I've got quite a bit left over. Usually if you have leftovers, it's a yard maybe or less but sometimes the contractors way over order what they need, which is fine. But uh, we, can't, we can't dump it out on the job site. You know, obviously nobody wants like a giant pile of extra concrete there. So we have to take it back with us so we can uh, either pour it in those big eco blocks. They're just those giant concrete rectangles you see them a lot in um, uh, parking lots. You know, they got a little piece of rebar on the top. You can pick them up and move them with a, a forklift or something or a loader. So we have five or six of those molds that when we come back with leftovers, we can fill those molds up and then sell the, the barriers. Or sometimes you, you can resell the concrete. Um, we don't really do that here at AAA, um, but if the mud isn't too old and if it's the same mix, 
has somebody else on another one of your jobs coming up sometimes they'll just add to it like if you come back with two yards and somebody needs five yards or ten of the of a, the same mix they'll just load on top of you and you take it back but that makes the makes the concrete harder to work with because it sets up a lot quicker and uh, we just don't do it so the other option we have is just dump it out on the ground some places will recycle it you'll uh, dump out the concrete on the ground in a long string so it's easy to break up loaders come back later and they scoop everything up and and they crush it into road base and they resell it that way or you can just scoop it into a giant pile you know out, kind of out of sight out of mind I don't like getting too close to these guys so if I can I always move over we just poured that that was another one of our trucks came out and poured that sidewalk so anyway I got probably three yards left uh, we'll go go back to the yard and just dump it out or fill up the um, the molds for the roadblocks I've been kind of looking around for some to point out but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about leave it down in the comments if you know what those things are called <laughs> I, don't, I don't I mean I don't even know what they're called but uh, anyway leave it down in the comments if you know if you know what I'm talking about so I'll get back to the yard and dump those out and then we'll wash down again real quick and get loaded again because it's only 11 o'clock so we'll have at least one more load maybe two but uh, we'll see well, we're back in the yard doesn't look like a whole lot's going on a bunch of drivers out here washing their trucks and eating lunch so we're gonna follow this guy back and uh, and dump out the the extra maybe three yards or so so we'll head back this way it's just like extra land that the company owns they store equipment and stuff back here and there's a quarry on the other side of this hill I think eventually they'll probably utilize this this area for something but for now it's just kind of extra space so I'm gonna stop real quick and put my chute down and pressurize my water tank so so we can get ready to dump out. That's my water tank. down we're ready to rock Nacho's selling burritos tomorrow. <laughs> His wife makes a bunch of food and they sell it on, I guess he's making it a regular thing. He was doing it on Friday. Last Friday he sold some tortas. I don't know, Mexican sandwiches is what he said. <laughs> so I said, yeah, give me four. 
So that's it for now. Uh, we dumped out our leftovers. I'm just gonna go wash down the truck real quick and uh, we'll wait around for the next load. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We're getting up there. Uh, last time I checked, I was at like 320 something. So uh, I'd like to get up to a thousand by the end of the year. And the only way that happens is if you guys help me out and subscribe, like the video, ask questions, make comments. Uh, just help me, uh, help me get out there and get up to a, a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. All right, later.